Guys, welcome back to my vlog. And like I promised last time, we are going to talk about the different types of cells. Today, our vlog mode is going to turn into education mode. First, we are going to start talking about the cells by finding out what are the two main types of cells. The first is the prokaryotic type of cells. The second one is the eukaryotic types of cells. And now I have prepared two infographics so that you guys will have an easier time to understand these two types of cells. So let's now refer to the diagram. First is the prokaryotic types of cells. So as you can see, prokaryotic types of cells are um, very different from eukaryotic types of cells. So why? So as you can see in this diagram I have prepared, I, there are five characteristics of a prokaryote. So number one, DNA is not membrane bound. So what does this mean? So as we all know, all forms of life have DNA in them. But what does it mean to not have a membrane bound DNA? So as you can see, DNA in prokaryotic cells are not membrane bound because they are not inside a nucleus. Instead, they are concentrated in an area called the nucleoid. So that's what makes it different from a eukaryotic cell. So number two is, all prokaryotic cells are unicellular organisms. So it means that just one cell, if it is a prokaryote, it already means that it is an organism by itself. So prokaryotic cells usually work and function solo. And it is very rare to find a group of prokaryotic cells working together to form a colony. So that's why they are called unicellular organisms. So number three is that prokaryotic cells are not compartmentalized. Just like their DNA, um, other, parts of the, other parts of a prokaryotic cell are not membrane bound. They are not separated within the cytoplasm. Just means that um, they can bump with each other and something like that because there's no boundary separating the different parts of the cell. So number four, wall of protection. So all prokaryotic cells have a cell wall. So they use this to protect themselves from harsh environments. So this, well, this cell wall is made out of peptidoglycan. It is a polymer that is very effective in protecting the insides of the cell. Also some other types of prokaryotic cells have a capsule wall outside the cell wall itself and it is made out of polysaccharides. So lastly, the fifth characteristic of a prokaryotic cell is its small size. So prokaryotic cells um, ranges from 0.5 micrometers to 100 micrometers. So this is small compared to a eukaryotic cell. So next is what are eukaryotic cells exactly? So let's move on to the next infographic. So as you can see, again, there are five characteristics of a eukaryote in this diagram that I am presenting. So number one, opposite to prokaryotic cells, eukaryotic cells have a membrane-bound DNA. DNA in eukaryotic cells are protected and tightly packed inside a compartment called the nucleus. So as you can see, um, this is one of the main differences of prokaryotic and eukaryotic cells. Their DNA are very arranged in a different manner. So prokaryotic cells are not enclosed in a membrane while eukaryotic cells have a protective membrane called the nucleus. So number two, double agent. So why are eukaryotes double agents? It's because eukaryotes can either be unicellular or multicellular. So what does this mean? They can be either of the two, but unicellular eukaryotes can survive solo just like prokaryotes, so they don't need help from other types of cells. 
just like a prokaryote, while multicellular eukaryotic cells are not self-sufficient. They need to depend on other cells to survive because they are usually a part of a much larger organism, just like the cells in our body. One blood cell or one skin skin cell will not survive it if it doesn't have any help from um, brain cells, heart cells, and other types of cells. So next one, number three is the compartmentalized boundaries. So like the DNA, other parts of eukaryotic cells are membrane bound. So again, this is opposite with the prokaryotic cells. Each part or most parts of eukaryotic cells are bound within their own membrane. So they are compartmentalized or they are separated by boundaries. So they don't just bump and share the same space with other parts. So number four, four, sorry, wall of protection. So not all eukaryotic cells have a cell wall for protection. Um, cell walls are only visible in plants and fungi eukaryotic cells. So the thing is that cell walls are common within plants, fungi, and prokaryotic cells, but animal cells are lacking of it. But the, the thing in common with these types of cells is that they all have a cell membrane. Prokaryotic or eukaryotic, they all have a cell membrane. So number five is the last one, is the large size. So compared to prokaryotic cells, eukaryotic cell sizes range from 10 micrometers to 100, 150 micrometers. So this is a very big difference if you compare eukaryotic cells from prokaryotic cells. So now that we have tackled the characteristics and differences of the two types of cells, we will now look into the parts of these cells. So I have prepared some legends and we will tackle that while we are discussing the matter. So first, look at this diagram of a prokaryotic cell. So as you can see, prokaryotic cells um, look like this. And the labels are either colored red or violet. So red labels uh, mean that these parts of a cell are only exclusive or can only be found in prokaryotic cells. You can find this from eukaryotic cells. So these are nucleoid, pili, capsule, plasmid, and flagella. So these are only found in prokaryotic cells. While the ones labeled in violet text are parts that can be found in both prokaryotic and eukaryotic cells. So as you can see, the nucleoid here is the area where the DNA is found. And it is not enclosed in any type of membrane. It gets to mix up with the ribosomes and the plasmids in one cytoplasm. So as you can see, um, prokaryotic cells have so much protection. Besides the cell membrane, they also have a cell wall and they have the capsule itself. So this is very useful protection for prokaryotic cells because they don't um, get help from other types of cells for protection. So they need to protect themselves. So other parts of it are the flagella, the pili. Usually these are used for either movement or for eating. So as you can see, a prokaryotic cell is very simple. So let's compare it to eukaryotic cells. So what can we see? So eukaryotic plant cells. In eukaryotic plant cells, you can see that um, the labels here are either violet, purple, or blue. So the blue labels here means that these are only exclusive to eukaryotic plant cells and you can find them on prokaryotic plant cells. So as you can see, there are a lot of parts, blue labeled parts, because a lot of eukaryotic parts <clears throat> cannot be found on prokaryotic cells. So as for one, the similarities are they both have cell wall, they both have a cell membrane, they have ribosomes, they have cytoplasms. So these are the few um, similarities that eukaryotic and prokaryotic cells have. 
So as you can see, the vacuole is um, very eye-catching. It's because it's a very large part of a plant cell. It's a big, because plants usually hold a lot of water. And the vacuoles are the water storage parts of a plant. So what else can you see here? From For the DNA part, you can see that the nucleus and the nucleolus are also, are, are also standing out. So the DNA is found in the nucleus, which is the protective membrane of the DNA. So unlike the prokaryotic cells, the nucleus is protecting the DNA with the membrane. It is not mixing with any other parts and it is compartmentalized. And you, if you notice the other parts, the ameloplast, the chloroplast, the centrosome, the mitochondrion, Golgi body, smooth and rough ER, they are also protected by their own membrane. And that's why eukaryotic cells are compartmentalized. So moving on to the animal eukaryotic cell. So you can see here that the biggest part is probably the nucleus and the nucleolus. So it's similar to the plant eukaryotic cell. Their main difference is that plant cells do not have cell walls. They have lysosomes and they do not have chloroplasts. Additionally, they don't have ameloplasts. So those are some of the few differences, but generally eukaryotic and prokaryotic eukaryotic animal cells and eukaryotic plant cells are very similar. So as you can see, the other parts are mainly the same. Nucleolus and the nucleus are holding the DNA, protecting it, while the other parts of the cell are also membrane bound. So have you learned anything from this lesson? So as a review, we have learned that the main differences of a prokaryotic and a eukaryotic cells is the location of their DNA. Prokaryotic cells do not have membrane-bound DNA, while eukaryotic cells have membrane-bound DNA. Also, the second difference, uh, difference is that unicellular organisms are prokary can either be prokaryotic and eukaryotic, but multicellular organisms are only found in the eukaryote group. So the next one is that the prokaryotic cells are not compartmentalized while eukaryotic cells are compartmentalized. Number four is that their similarity is that they can have both cell both have cell walls, but only prokaryotic cells can have a capsule for protection made out of polysaccharides. The last difference is, num difference is number five, the size. So while prokaryotic cells range from 0.5 micrometers to 100 micrometers, um, eukaryotic cells are much, much bigger, ranging from 10 micrometers to 150 micrometers. So besides from that, the parts of the cells are very different. So they are positioned differently and the types of the parts of the cell are also varying from each other. That's why some are exclusive for prokaryotic cells while some are exclusive for eukaryotic cells. Again guys, thank you so much for listening to my vlog. So if you like this video, don't forget to press like, click subscribe, and tap the bell button for notifications of future episodes. So as you can see, I am wearing right now a very peculiar t-shirt. So if you want one of these, so look at the design. If you're not part of the solution, then you're part of the precipitate. So if you want one of these, want one of these t-shirts, just go to the link below in the description box and use the code HOTDOG for a 50% discount. So again guys, thank you for listening to my vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. Always take care of yourself and stay safe. Bye!